Hello to my old buddies and a warm welcome to all the new subscribers on my channel. Well, this video is going to be a different than most of the videos I have done so far because I'll be talking about acupressure. Now, acupressure is that one thing which I do daily. Now, at the beginning only, I would like to make a disclaimer that I am not suffering from any major health issues. I do acupressure therapy just to keep myself healthy and to boost my immune system. You can do acupressure with your fingers or with certain devices, which I'll be showing you in this video. If you don't have any of these devices, as I told you, you can do it with your fingers or you can use your regular pen to press all the points on your hands, on your feet or all over your body. Acupressure pressure is an ancient therapy, an ancient healing therapy, which is really good for increasing blood circulation, for reducing pain, and it is a self-treatment. So it means that you can do it at home and you can do this therapy for relieving tensions, for relieving pain, and it is really good for your regular well-being. It is really good when you want to do a spiritual healing. As this is a therapy, so there are some precautions also associated with it, so you have to be some of these in your mind before starting this process first don't eat anything before and after one hour of the treatment and after that don't let your body over exercise or overwork before and after one hour of the treatment and after that don't press your points too much you have to press them firmly but try to be very gentle with your body so let's talk about all the devices that I use for my acupressure therapy so let's start with the first device that I use it is this pencil it's a wooden pencil and um, this is a stick which is rounded from both the sides so one is a round and a large one another is a pointed one well this is not that sharp or something but it is used to treat the larger points on your body you can use it on your hands on your feet on your leg and I sometimes may use this larger portion on the back area as well you can just hold it like a pencil and try to press all the points the next device that I have have is this one it is again a pencil kind of a thing it is actually a metallic stick which is rounded off again from both sides this side is a little bigger than this one so this is used to treat and to diagnose the sensitive areas when you are pressing with this so if there is a very sharp pain from any point coming out so it means that's the sensitive acute point and you have to treat that point the next device that I use is this it is a very small ring as you can see so it is a metallic ring and it is to treat the points on your fingers your fingers they always are left behind so this is the ring which really comes handy for that and it is very easy to use as well all you need to do is just put it on one finger and then just rub it down to the bottom and just take it out the way we had taken it to the bottom and I'm not sure if you might be able to see or not but my hand has all those little uh, small little points which this ring has made and that's how it actually treats all the points which are around my finger apart from your fingers or toes I don't think so that this may really help you in any other kind of acupressure uh, points so this is the next device that I have. It is a wooden ball and I think you might have seen this one in number of acupressure treatments and it comes in plastic and rubber as well. I had a rubber one earlier but it did not last long. I think the material was cheap or something but this has been with me for almost like past three years or something and it has been um, a very daily kind of a device that I use on my hands. Just need to rub it all over your hands on your arms on your legs you can rub it all over your body also you can grip this in your fist and you can hold it for about 20 to 40 seconds or a half a minute and just release it and it'll do its work so this is that next device it is a foot roller and as the name suggests it is for your foot so all you need to do is sit comfortably on a chair and place this on the ground and now place both of your feet on uh, this roller and start moving it forward and backward for about five minutes and it will press all the points which are on your feet 
yes the last device that i have is this one this is an acupressure mat and as you can see it has magnets on both sides and there is a little raised pyramid over here as well so all you need to do is um, place this firmly on the ground and then stand with both the feet on uh, their respective areas and stand for about one and a half to two minutes using this mat can be effective for your heel pain knee pain leg pain sciatic nerve pain depression and even even migraine as well so I stand on this one regularly but uh, yes the the little pyramids are quite sharp so you cannot stand more than one and a half or two minutes I have been using acupressure therapy from past six or seven years and from my own experience I can say that that apart from detoxifying the body for better health and beauty it can actually treat some major health issues as well so the pictures that I'm showing you now are the ones which my mom uses these are of the devices which my mom uses so if you want me to do a review on a particular device do let me know and if you want to know my daily acupressure routine or the other acupressure therapy I can do a video on that as well but you have to write it either in the comment section of the YouTube or on my Instagram if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and yes guys please do subscribe it means a lot and you can follow me on my Instagram on my Facebook on my Google Plus on my pin interest and on my YouTube as well thank you so much for watching this video stay blessed and have a lovely time ahead bye bye